this is Sheila She's Beautiful Urban and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be demoing a nice new palette that I just found out about that was created from Miss Alexis Lex Brumfield who's the founder and CEO of The Makeup Chamber and she came out with the artist palette. If you want to see what look I come up with using this newly found makeup palette that I discovered on Facebook, then keep on watching. Hey, and if you're new here, welcome. I'd love for you to be a part of the Urban Beauty community. So please, before you start watching, push that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Hey, let's get on into this artist palette by Miss Alexis Lex Brumfield, the founder and CEO of The Makeup Chamber. Sit back, relax. I'll be right back. All right, we're going to jump right on in. Let me let y'all see this palette. It is made so cute. It's actually like a paint palette. Very pretty. Has these pretty foiled, um, gold foil name called the Artist's Palette. The Makeup Chamber. Like I said, it's by, by the CEO and founder, uh, Miss Alexis Lex Brumfield. Okay. And on the back it says, The Makeup Chamber. It says, Hey beauties, welcome to the makeup chamber. When it comes to makeup and art, I love color. That is why this palette is so bright, vibrant, and beautiful. I have picked each color and the names are inspired by artists that I truly admire. There are so many looks that can be created. I cannot wait to see the greatness that you beauties bring into existence. Love. Lex. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? I was watching one of her videos one day and she pulled up this palette. Well, first she was doing her makeup and I came into the group watching the video kind of late. And so I asked her, so what palette is that you're using? Because the colors on her eyes were so vibrant and so opaque. I just had to have that palette. So I said, what, what palette is that? Not knowing that she was the founder of the palette. And she said it was the artist palette. So let's look on the inside and see what these colors look like. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> mm -mm. Alright, and this is the back side of the palette. The front and the back. Okay, really nice. If you want this palette, you can go to themakeupchamber.com, okay? And tag uh, BR Canvas if you want her to see, I guess, your look. Hey, all right, let's move this little plastic out the way. Move the top out the way. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. Isn't that nice? Puts me in the mind of... Um, the Glam Light Cosmetics um, Paint Palette. But these, um, these little quads on the inside of here are much bigger. But these are the colors. And I am fairly colorful today. So let's see what we can come up with with these colors. Let's see what, how, what the names are first. So black is called Cara. And this pretty color here is called... Basquat, charge to my head and I'm hard if I don't say it right. Uh, Picasso is the pretty purple. We have O'Keefe, which is this beautiful blue in the middle. We have Hayden, this beautiful green. It's a shimmer. Then we have Cass Cassat, have this pretty green, lime green right here. This deep green is called Savage. Then we have Donatello, this pretty color here. My hand kind of slipped on the palette, so it's kind of got a smudge in the middle. Then we have Kylo, this beautiful deep rosy pink, or more of a 
purple pink. Then we have this rose gold called Piper. This beautiful yellow called Neo. This beautiful uh, shimmering yellow called Br Brita. Right here. Then we have green gold. This beautiful gold color here. Brown is called Betai. Be Betai. Then we have Lynette. This pretty uh, like transition color here. Uh, nice cream color. And this beautiful vibrant pink is called Brianna. And we have Da Vinci. This deep orange. And this beautiful um, shimmering orange called Monet. Alright. I'm going to swatch a few of these. I'm going to swatch the shimmering colors. Give y'all a little swatch canvas. So I'm going to swatch this beautiful green. There it is. Put it right there. Ooh. Very nice. Ooh. Wee -ta. Then I'm going to swatch this Rose gold color on my finger. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. Cut my fingers off. Then we're going to go into this light gold color. I guess that's all. It's more of a peachy, peachy gold color. It's not rose gold. It's got like it's uh, gold with a peach undertone. Then we're gonna go into this orange on my finger. Ooh, got a little powder to it, but that's all right. It's really nice. Then we're gonna go into this deep gold. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. Then we're going to go into this deep blue up here at the top. Pretty shimmering blue. It's my finger. Here it is on my arm. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, and purple. The purple is, I think, the last shimmer. Oh, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Purple is my favorite color. So those are the shimmers in here. Really nice. Look at my shirt. Mm -hmm. So you know we're going to do something colorful. Clean that off real good. And let's jump on into this palette. Get another white real quick. Okay. Now let's grab my P. Louise base for my eyes. I don't do a lot of base, but I want these colors to pop. Okay. Just like this. I like the P. Louise base because it dries down really fast and smooth, really even. Patting that down with the, a Morphe smudging brush. I call it a smudging brush. But it's a, I believe it's a foundation brush. But I use it as a, to pat my uh, concealer down. Try not to bother my brows up there. Got my brows on pretty good today. That thing will do me. All right. Okay. So, uh, the first color I'm going to this pretty brown right here. Going to that brown. Grab a brush. A little bit of fallout. Not very much. Gonna go right into the crease. Bring it on around. The 
It's giving my eye some shape. Yeah, I was watching that um, that live she had on Facebook. I was like, ooh, ooh, that's a pretty pet. So far, this brown is blending out really smooth. It's not patchy. Give me some roundness up here because I don't want my eyes to sag. My main color that I have on, as far as with these, this butterfly shirt, the main color I have on is pink. So, I'm going to do some type of pink to be the main color in the look. I'm going to try to. Normally, I just go with the flow and whatever I pick up, that's what we pick up. <laughs> so, I've given my eyes some shape. And I do both eyes at the same time. For all my new lookers, my own lookers, and, you know, the, my new subscribers, I am blind in my left eye. So, it takes me a little bit of time. But I try to do my best. And I'm just building the color up. I'm not picking up a whole lot of color. I'm just... Building it up right now. Giving my eyes some shape. That is a really nice brown. Ooh, that's a pretty brown. Get that nice. Mm -mm -mm. We bring it out a little bit. Like I said, I get my eyes some shape. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Okay, now <clears throat> let's go into the blue. So, let me get another brush. And this is Morphe E17 brush. Okay, we're going to go into this blue. Or should I do the black? I'm going to do the black first. Let's do black first. So, I'm going to get the Morphe M321 brush. We're going to go into this black. Nice fallout on that black. Put it on the outer corner. Just a little bit. Tap it softly because now in this black is some heavy fallout. Okay, some heavy fallout. So I'm just going to tap it really nice and soft. Very minimal, but it's very pigmented. Look at that. Oh, that's pigmented. I'm just blending it in. Just like that. Let's go to the other side. I tapped off the excess.
taking my time, okay? I gotta take my time. Keep up with the shape. Working with what I have in the brush because this black is very pigmented. Bring it up just a little bit. And come on this side, do the same thing. Y'all see that? Okay. Now we're going to go into this blue. Now we're going to go back with our E17 brush. Is that the one I wanted to first? Yeah, E17. For that blue. Just going to tap that blue right next to the black. We're transitioning into our colors. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm tapping it on and blending it out. Very small sections. Y'all see that? Look at that. Ooh. Like that, they go to the other eye. Oh, that's nice, nice blue. Okay, now we got those two colors on. We're going to go into the green next. Now the brush, and this is the E, number the M507 brush. I'm going to go into this deep green right here. Okay. Right next to that blue. Very pigmented. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Now I'm gonna go back into that blue. That blue is kind of meshing with the with that black. So I need to go back into that blue. Missing very well with that black. But I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to add that shimmering blue to this. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. Now we're going to go into this pink. So I need another brush. Yes, I'm, I'm using a lot of brushes, y'all. This is the E18 brush by Morphe. We're going to this beautiful pink, vibrant pink. Right in here. I'll take that entire color of that pink next to the green. Now it's kind of odd putting pink right next to green, but that's what we're doing. And 
we're going to bring it all the way around to the bottom lash line. As soon as I set the bottom lash line, to the green before I transition over. Get that green back on there real good. Sometimes we have to go into the colors several times before we get our opacity, the opacity that we're really looking for. Okay. Now, let me set the bottom lash line. And this is the Billion Dollar Brow Concealer. I use this because it's easy to apply the concealer. Now let me smudge that down. Okay. Let's get back into that pink. Use my pink dot brush. This is a very small detail brush. We're gonna bring that pink on around. Just like that. Okay, we get our green. Patting it on. Okay, let's go into our blue. It's pretty. Let's get a little bit of that orange. I want some of that orange in there. So we can get with this very bright orange right here. I don't know if y'all can see that in the camera right there. Okay. I'm going to bring that orange right above this pink. It may not show up due to the fact that I don't have any setting, I don't think, right there as much as I should have, but I'm going to put a little bit up there. It's going to appear a lot darker because of that brown in the crease. But it will be seen. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just going to bring it around 
bring it all the way around. Got a nice deepness going with this orange. Very pretty. So let's go deep back into our blue. To our green. You'll see me going in several times now. Okay, now. Uh oh. Now, now I want to do a little bit of adding the shimmer to the green and the blue. So we're going to go into this shimmering blue. Let me spray my brush. I might let me see if I put one on my finger. Oh yes. Is a wonderful thing. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, it is. So we're getting that blue to pop and be more obvious with that shimmer on top of it. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, now we're going to go into our green shimmer. So basically, the uh, matte colors are our bases, okay? There's that green. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I'm left-handed so bad. <laughs> I don't get it right hand, no work. Oh, that's pretty. Ma'am, Pam. <laughs> Let me see. Do I got a shimmer oh, pink in here? Guess not. They get the fallout. Ooh, some fallout on this patty. We're going to put a little pop of this rose gold on top of that pink. Make it pop some more. Okay, just a little bit. Just like that. Okay? We're not going to do the orange like that now. <laughs> okay? Okay, we're going to dip into this black again. Just on the outer corner. Now let's get us a brow bone highlight. We're going to go into Donatella, that light champagne color. Got to have my, high, my brow bone highlight. Put it in real good. Okay, let me... Also put Donatella in the inner corner just to make a little bit of a pop. And this is all I'm going to do to the eyes. So we're going to add some lashes and some mascara and a lip to finish out the look. Y'all sit back, relax. I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, here I am, back with the finished look. Do y'all like it? If you do, give me a comment below in the description section, okay? Hey, but this is the finished look from the artist palette from the Makeup Chamber. Founder and creator, um, Alexis Lex Brumfield. Congratulations, Lex. I know it's, you've already been out here. Uh, I think it was, she had it in the view in 2016 and it came to fruition in 2019. So I just like to say a shout out to Alexis for such an amazing creation on this palette. It's a wonderful palette. Like you see, it's very nice. The pigmentation is great. The blending was nice and the colors are definitely vibrant. As you can see on my eyes. But this is my rendition of the palette. Hope y'all like this look. I really enjoy working with it. And I will do uh, other looks with the palette. Because I still want to get into this purple. I'm going to get a little bit more into the oranges for sure. And the golds. Because those are colors I don't work with all the time. The orange I do, but... I really want to get back into this palette a little bit more because I really like this palette. But I know I probably do like a million colors with it. Hey. But this is the finished look. And I hope y'all like it. And my highlight I used was from uh, BH Cosmetics. No, not BH Cosmetics. Anastasia Beverly Hills M. Reezy palette. It's the little highlighter. I have two of these. I, I, I made sure I want to go out. And the lip color I have, the liner is in Burgundy from MAC. And I used the Lip Plumping Serum from Hard Candy. Uh, this is a gloss. And it's very cool into the lip. It's really nice. Okay? And the blush that I'm wearing is from, let me make sure I say this right, the Sephora palette. It's the Deep Palette, the Sephora Pro Palette. It's a Sephora Pro Face Palette. And I use the color Premier. This is the color right here. It's my blush. And for setting, I use the Ciate Everyday Vacay Setting Spray. Hey, and this is the finished look, y'all. And I am Sheila She's Beautiful Irvin. Sound, signing out till next time, folks. Peace, love, and taco grease till next time. I love you guys. Bye.